LED Wizard 7.1 can create a complete LED layout in about five minutes. In this video, we'll take a look at a set of 48 inch channel letters uh, using this shopping district file. And so I'll just import that into LED Wizard. And this file is both a bitmap file and a vector file. So I have uh, vector graphics for my lettering. And I just need to now scale this up to 235 inches wide. And so I can just punch that in and now here's my full scale drawing. So I can just go back now and delete uh, my picture. I won't need that anymore. And now that I have the letters, I'm, I'm actually going to put these on the same line. It'll just be a little bit easier to lay this out and see uh, my power supplies and my stats that go below. So I'll just put these two on the same line, bring a little guideline down here and uh, expand my layout area out. So um, I'll group these two together and go into our power flow tool. And now it brings in this uh, preview guide path inside the letters. And I can now choose my brand of LEDs. I'll choose uh, XYZ, our sample brand, and the standard red double module. And this is about a 10 inch stroke. I'd like to do a two and a half inch clearance. That ought to give me a good even light coverage with two runs. And so I'll click over here on pop all symmetrical and then it starts laying out the LEDs inside of the letters. So I can just scroll across here and we'll take a look at the population. A couple areas there we're going to want to go back and uh, edit real quick and, uh, and that's the whole population. So again if I just look back here we have a, a rich set of tools for editing the position of the LEDs. Um, inserting LEDs, um, adjusting them, deleting them, uh, opening and closing runs, and this sort of thing. So I'll just scroll across here until I get here to the end. And uh, we just kind of rounded off that corner. And in fact, I'd like to have uh, that straight run just go up. So um, as I position the mouse and click, it adds a new module. So I can just um, go up here and just add the modules, rotate this to be vertical, and uh, delete that one. And then I can do the same thing down here. So, uh, and actually in this case, I'll use a different approach, just drag this all the way down, and then uh, I can just click when I see that red wire, and it'll add a, a module in there. So, a red wire means that, uh, that it won't reach, and so I have to decrease the spacing so that that wire actually reaches. So uh, it's easy to see, I can spot those red wires and know that I have to go in there and do a little bit of editing. So in this case, we just kind of uh, missed that one module so I can just reconnect them using shift click and uh, delete that module, shift click, just adjust that over. And same thing down here, just sort of readjust, rotate the position of these LEDs. So I can move the module on the path or off the path and uh, in order to position them in the right place. So again, continuing across, looks like now, um, again, here's the S, and we can copy uh, one letter to another, and I'll actually do that um, with the T. So we have, we have two T's. So let me just quickly edit this, and then um, we'll look at the last T, and I can then copy uh, the modules from this T to the other T, so I don't have to duplicate that effort. So I can just click into this T, and I want to select all of the modules here, and so I do Shift A, and that selects them, and then I can delete, and then go back to the T that we edited, uh, Shift A again, copies, uh, selects and copies, and then Shift V, uh, pastes into the, uh, to the T. So now I've just duplicated that. So that's all the editing that's really needed uh, in this case. So now we'll move on to adding uh, a power supply. And I'll select my 60 watt power supply. And I'll do add one power supply per letter, uh, an automated power supply tool. And you can see the information. Uh, this one's highlighted red because I'm within the margin, which is, uh, I believe, set at 10%. But each power supply shows the number of modules and the percentage uh, and the watts. So now one final step, I just need to uh, assign the letters of each of these because we don't know 
uh, what the letters are when we import something. So I'm just typing over here using the assign letters tool. Uh, and then I can go ahead and add my stats. So when I click on the stats, each letter has a stat that has a number of modules, watts, uh, modules per square foot, uh, area, and perimeter. So I can just adjust these stat objects below the letters. And then here's our total stats for the entire job. 689 modules, 16 power supplies. So that's the final layout in about five minutes. For more information, please visit ledwizard.com.